Hi everybody and welcome to what's a first peek at a a new bit of machinery that uh, I've got. Now it's a great story and I won't go into too much but uh, someone who will remain anonymous uh, who believes in me and they really like what I'm doing and what I've been able to do since I went blind uh, they've bought me this new piece of machinery to help my channel grow and expand so uh, first peak for you Patreons so thank you so very much for supporting me and uh, yeah we'll get to uh, moving the camera and I'll give you a little guided tour of this uh, new bit of tech okay folks and here we have it it's a 130 amp uh, gas and no gas MIG welder I'll just get my bearings here now so absolutely uh, chuffed to bits to uh, have this machine and it's going to enable me to uh, do various projects still incorporating wood and wood turnings so if I just trail over here what I've got here is this uh, slice off a tree so I'm going to make a stool out of this as I've mentioned before and put some bow tie uh, strapping on there but I'm going to make some plates brackets and then I'm going to weld the the feet to it so it's going to be a, a wood and metal stool so just let me ooh, feel for where I'm going here now so here we are so I'll just briefly talk you over some of the controls and as usual I've been listening to uh, hundreds of hours of tutorials on welding now so I've been back in the virtual classroom so uh, this here this is this uh, control knob uh, and it's infinitely adjustable that's your wire feed speed so as the and incidentally the wire in it at the minute it's, it's uh, the flux cord wire so you don't need uh, separate gas but this machine has the ability uh, to run off gas as well and you would use then solid wire so it would become a full uh, a full MIG welder uh, there's, there's a lot of people out there that's when you use flux cord stuff they'd say oh it's not a true MIG but you can convert this to true MIG so you've got the wire feed there so that's how quick You've got the, the MIG torch here, how quick the wire protrudes out of the end when you're welding. And then you've got a couple of power settings here, and you've got an on-off switch. Uh, it's got full thermal uh, protection, and it's got a built-in fan to keep it cool to give it better efficiency and a longer duty cycle. And this is where the, the torch line goes into the machine. So there's not too much to... Uh, show you there on the front quite simple controls and obviously depending on the type of steel you are welding its thickness uh, you would adjust the settings to, to suit so I'm gonna have to get some uh, scrap metal and practice so that should be fun and then if I move over here there's a little there's a side hatch here so you just get your, your finger in there and pull uh, it came with a small spool of wire but I fitted a five kilo uh, flux cord steel wire on there so that if I get in there that goes through the wire feed assembly and you have to get the wire uh, in line over this uh, drive wheel here and it has grooves in it different size grooves as well for different uh, thickness of wires so it clamps in and it goes through what's called the wire liner uh, in this part here and then uh, obviously it's motorized and it feeds through so there's some other stuff happening in here I think they must be for the the ground clamp uh, and obviously you have the ground clamp there which you attach to your work and I think you attach it as near as you possibly can to uh, the, the uh, area you're working on for better uh, efficiency and better weld quality so uh, absolutely chuffed to bits comes with a, a handle uh, 
that you can pull it around with. Uh, it's got it's got a couple of nice wheels on there. So it took me about an hour to assemble it all and just to get the wire uh, set up. And uh, obviously I, I then plugged it in and fed the wire all the way through. Uh, so I I also purchased a face shield. Now this I think it has uh, a darkness of 11 on the on the glass, and you can get all these now that self darken. So the clear for when you're moving about the workshop and grinding, and then as soon as you strike an arc, they'll darken. I don't need that. I don't need it. It can be dark all the time for all I care. So I just bought one that's constantly dark, uh, and if I don't need to wear it, I'll or I'm getting hot I can lift it up or take it off and I got some leather gauntlets uh, so that's cool so round the back here not too much to show at the minute uh, there's, there's really nothing on the back there's no buttons or anything there's some vents to suck air through and this is the the tube that would connect to a regulator and then would attach to your gas bottle now you can get the smaller that's what this uh, concavity is for you can get small gas bottles which are about 110 litre uh, capacity and they can just sit on there and that's for when you're using gas with a solid cord wire so that should be easy it, it, obviously I will be venturing down that road uh, because you can weld thicker steel I think when you're going with uh, gas and solid solid wire as is my understanding but I could be completely wrong on that so that's my my new toy so thank you very much to my generous benefactor for uh, buying this for me uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah I'm gonna love learning it obviously it's massively dangerous uh, but no more dangerous than wood turning in my opinion so as long as you've got a good face shield uh, my my auntie Elaine she's a a nursing accident and emergency or what you'd call trauma a trauma center and she says it's amazing the amount of welders that come through with uh, you know really badly damaged uh, eyeballs that are burnt and blistered uh, and she says they're in so much pain you know they, they come in and they're in absolute agony so just again you know that question why are you bothering wearing a mask you're already blind you know it would be absolutely uh, miserable to get, you know, the front of my eyes burnt by the arc. Basically, you, you know, you're getting a very severe sunburn to the front of your eyes. And it's a nasty injury. So I don't want to go through that. I know I can't see, but I, I still don't want to endure that pain. So, uh, yeah, face shield all the way. And obviously, you know, you always make sure that your arms uh, are fully cover covered and you have good gauntlets on. So... That's it really, uh, just a, a quick video to my patrons, so thank you so very much for uh, choosing to support me through Patreon, and uh, yeah, we're going to get some scrap steel and get some steel, uh, and we'll get practicing, so there'll be videos of that coming up as well, so uh, it's just something that I'm really interested to do, uh, and you know, I love a challenge, and I ain't have, going to have uh, anybody tell me that I can't do something. Basically, that's it. You know, if I want to go out and weld something, I'll go out and bloody weld something, you know. Uh, I was going to get a stick welder, but apparently, you know, it's more tricky to hold the, the electrode at uh, uh, a suitable distance from the work to get a, a good weld and strike the arc, whereas this is a lot more... Uh, user friendly and forgiving you know you still have to you know practice a lot but obviously you can you can get close and support the the, the torch stable uh, more stable and you know once you've got your, your your hand movement nice and controlled and the wire speed and the, the power settings all dialed in uh, it, sh it should be cool so that's that's where I'm at so thank you so very much uh, yeah that's all don't forget to uh, tell your friends about me on Patreon. Thanks a lot. Bye.